All right, so to, to have a conversation about artificial intelligence, the first thing to talk about is, well, what is AI? What does artificial intelligence really mean? We have to align on that to be able to have a conversation because otherwise what happens is everybody's talking about different things. So the first thing to know about what is AI is that in the research literature, there is no consensus on the definition of artificial intelligence. There is some alignment that uh, artificially intelligent systems are those systems that have some ability to learn from experience, um, that can adjust to new inputs, and that can perform human-like tasks. Or, in other words, they can perceive, they can comprehend, they can learn, and they can act. What that means is artificial intelligence is not one technology. It's an umbrella term used for a bunch of technologies through which the system can perform these activities. So uh, perceive would mean that they can perceive their environment. So that could mean seeing, you know, vision, or voice, listen, or through text inputs, whatever it is, they have some level of perception of the environment. Comprehend means that not only can they perceive the environment, they can also understand it in context. That really matters. I mean, all of you are sitting on chairs, for example. Well, your, your comprehension of the chair really depends on the reason why you're interacting with the chair. Right now, your, your comprehension of the chair is that you're here at the event and you're sitting down as a part of the event on the chair. But that relationship change it, changes immediately if you're a carpenter, for example, and you're working on the chair. So that comprehension, these systems should be able to understand what they have perceived in context. And then learn, of course, means that they can take lots of large data sets, they can learn from it, and autonomously generate insights. And then act means that they can action those insights. So those actions could be digital, if we are talking about something software-based, but those actions could also be physical, where then we have robotics. Through robotics, AI can act out physical actions. So these core components give us a framework of what artificial intelligence is, and this is the framework within which we'll be having our conversation today.